You're an English. You're an English chap, are you? Yeah, I am. Right. Well, you know, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth came to England last September, twelve months. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. You know why he came? No. He came for to get England back under the Roman the umbrella of the Roman Catholic Church, which it used to be before Henry the Eighth. Yeah, yeah. I know the His other reason for being here as well was he's getting the armies of the world ready for to go up against Israel in approximately four years' time for Armageddon. Are you saying that who's going to going against Israel? All the armies of the world. This is why he's travelling round. This is why he was here in England. The English government here and the Queen ought to agree send up the army up Israel when the time comes. And they will. Across the rest of the countries that he's been into. Every country he's visiting and everybody that these uh, world leaders that's visiting him in the Vatican. And also who has been visiting Pope John Paul II when he was there and all the countries that he travelled round. Uh, he travelled round to Pope John Paul II travelled round to approximately 141 or 142 countries to the leaders of them countries getting them all organised for Armageddon their armies to bring them up to Armageddon when you read chapter 16 of the Apocalypse or anybody that wants to read it you'll see at the, at the end of it the chapter is that Revelations? or Revelations it should be Apocalypse because we're in Apocalyptic times but we've settled for revelations for now, because there's a lot of Bibles now, revelations. So when you come to the end, near the end of that chapter, anybody can see that these people are going round to bring up all the armies of the world for Armageddon. And most people know about Armageddon. But the trick in Armageddon is this. When all the armies are brought up into Armageddon by the false prophet and the ruler of the world, they'll be killed. If they'll have done their job by bringing the armies up, then the devil takes over. So Israel will be surrounded by hundreds of millions of army with all their nuclear and all their weaponry that they have, ready to fight against Israel, but they're waiting on the Lord Jesus to come down out of heaven. And will no, Jesus they, they, be protecting Jesus Israel? Won't, Jesus won't be down at that particular time because if the devil's going to masquerade as Jesus then to come to help the Jewish people and the world. He'll come down as if he's coming down out of heaven. He'll be coming down, down off the satellites. My image projected down. That's what the satellites are all up there for. For all this trickery that's coming on the world. As if people's coming from heaven and saying from heaven and all this. It's all be done by satellites. I've heard this idea of Project Blue Beam, they call it, or something like this. I, I couldn't say now, but I'm just, all I know is that you, you might have a better idea of what we call the projects and all this. But the satellites are up there for all this. Right? Okay. So the devil is coming to help Israel when they're all surrounded by, surrounded by these hundreds of millions of army and all their weaponry. So who could save them only the Lord Jesus? So the devil will come acting as Jesus to help them. And all he'll kill he won't actually kill them, he'll already have them probably poisoned from the morning time, from the breakfast in the morning, with a special type of a drug that will be in the food probably. Where it'll make them drowsy and they'll fall down as he's gone by, and then they'll all bleed to death to fulfill what's in Bible prophecy about the great battle and all the boards of the air there to eat the flesh of all the, the, the great army men. Their blood will run the height of a, a horse's bridle for 200 miles, for it's the devil that has killed them. Then the real Jesus and the, 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 the Jewish people and the world will bow down and worship him as Jesus. This is how he's going to deceive the world into thinking he's Jesus and bow down the world. Then the real Jesus comes just after, immediately after that and he'll destroy the, the devil then. And all the people that bow down and worship the devil as Jesus. That's the way it's going to end. So, it all will end then on the earth. 
the, 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 the final judgment will take place. And the good people that follow Jesus will be brought up the, in the air. And the other evil people that follow the devil will be put in with the devil into the lake of salt. Okay, lake of fire. a question. So, let's just take a tribe in the Amazon who have never seen, um, they've never had colonialists come to them, they, they don't understand the outside world, they've never experienced it, they've never seen a Bible, will they go to heaven or hell? No, because I'll tell you, I'll tell you what will happen now. You already see that there is programs on the television, I think, on the lost people, the lost tribes, now they call them, I think. I've seen a program myself on it. Yeah, yeah. The lost tribes. You see, chapter 13 of the Apocalypse, for the false prophet and the ruler of the world, they'll be here for three and a half years. And during that period, it tells in the Holy, in chapter 13, if you want to read it, every tribe, people, tongue and nation will be put under this man's power and authority, the beast, the ruler of the world, for three and a half years, and take his map. So the people, the lost tribes, are being got now in the jungle, and they'll be brought out of the jungle, or if they don't bring them out, they'll kill them there and then, in the jungle, before the false prophet and the ruler of the world comes in. Because every tribe, people, tongue and nation, will be put under this man's authority for three and a half years, where no one will buy or sell anything on the earth. No water, no food, you'll not even be allowed to breathe the air if you don't take his mouth, his name or his number when it comes about. Can, can you picture now what they're doing the last tribes? They have to be found and either brought out or killed in the jungle. Because every tribe and nation, tongue and nation, has to be put under this man's power and authority. Every tribe. It tells you that in the Holy Bible, chapter 14. So can you picture that yourself now? Or anybody that listening or wants to read themselves and see. So they'll either take them out of it, force them out of the jungle, or get them out of it, or they'll kill them in the jungle. So because now you see the technology now to track the people, the satellites, that's how they're getting them in the jungles and wherever they are. Because they, they all have fires, I'd say, to cook with, you know, so you'll have smoke any of them up and whatever. And so you know, you probably know yourself now, the satellite can even read that, or even smaller than that. It's not right here on the earth. You know that, they can read yeah, the news, yeah, the from the satellites. So that's what they're for as well. For to track these people to see where they are, and get them out of the jungle, or kill them, whichever. Because if nobody on this earth is going to be let live, when this man comes, or these two men come, the beast, and they should take his mark, his name, his number. We already have chip, chip ready for each of us for our number on it. They know us all. And if we don't turn up for it, everybody will be looking for us on this day now when it takes place. And you're not to escape. This is why the coastlines now are all surrounded by search and rescue boats. I'm from Ireland, and Ireland is the same. I had a map. It was back where I'm staying. I could have showed you anybody. Anybody can get a map, I'd say, and see it. Where the coastlines, Ireland and England and Scotland and Wales, are surrounded by so-called search and rescue boats. They're actually there for you won't escape when this comes. You will not get off the island. You will not get off the island. The satellite laws will be watching you as well. All the cameras that have been round the streets and everything will be got instantly. Now most people are going to take this map and name and number and follow them. And then these people will also be looking out for you. Your own family will be looking out. Where are you? Because it will be brought about in such a way. This is the only way for the world to go forward and be safe. So anybody that doesn't take it will then not want the world safe, in other words. That's the way they'll bring it about. And you're going to be worse than a terrorist if you don't take this map. And you're to be killed. So that's why they have the skies with the helicopters, with the police helicopters tracking the show them on the, the TV, criminals stealing cars and whatever else you have. So you had to have the crime to get in all this equipment to look good. But it's actually for the time that the map and the beast where you're not going to escape. 
Yeah. You understand okay, yeah. now? I get what you're saying, yeah. And, and the coast lines all closed up. So, um, And yeah, they even have, uh, in back in Ireland now, they have two Navy ships patrolling the coast against what is drug, drug uh, pushers or drug traffickers. And uh, illegal, the fishing, illegal fishing and all this. That was all made this, brought about this way. The prim criminals with the drugs and the fishermen then they put them in such a position that they, that, that, that are uh, kind of, if you like to call uh, robbing the seas, if you like to call it, taking too much fish out of the sea or whatever. So they can get in all their equipment to stop this or to watch these people doing this. Ireland has two navy ships, plus all the boats, search and rescue boats that's round, plus they have some helicopters for search and rescue. They also have two navy ships patrolling the seas outside of that again. We're getting a third one now at any time, so they'll have three navy ships. I'm sure the, the British Navy has uh, lots of, have uh, quite a few of their navy ships patrolling the seas for the illegal fishing and illegal drugs and all this. But it is actually for, it's a way of getting in all this equipment where nobody will escape the mark of the beast when it comes. It's not too far away now. Okay, so do you think this is in the next one year, two year, five years, ten no, years? less. Just immediately after the bankruptcy, when they bankrupt the world in the near future. So, see, these people that are here now are being used as well against the bankers and the banks governments, which, which looks right like what the government's doing, and the rest of the people around the world, they're raising all the people. You see where they killed uh, Gaddafi, and uh, what do you call him in Iraq? Saddam. Saddam is saying, they're showing you, they see, what to do. They're showing the rest of the world what to do when they bring about the bankruptcy. They raise up against these so-called tyrants and put them out, the bankers and the, the, the governments of Ridicula. They're showing them what to do. They're walking into a trap for these Because when they bankrupt the world and the people raises up against the whole governments of the world and puts them out of power, to quell the trouble all over the world then the United Nations will step in to quell the trouble with a so-called peacekeeping force, which will be the Chinese army into every country in the world for five months. Persecution, starvation, men will seek death and they will, death will flee from them. They long to die and they won't be able to die. It's going to be terrible to bring us right down, everybody down in the whole world, and then for the false prophet to come down of the satellites in the sky for to help the world and bring it to a lovely way of living, a whole new way of living then, which I already have almost in place for the people. But all the new, new, new. The false prophet will be Pope John Paul II looking like coming down of a satellite in the sky. You'll think he's coming down out of heaven as a second John the Baptist coming to get the world ready, help the world and to get the world ready to turn back and repent and live in peace for three and a half years with a false peace. Well, I'm going to have to start wrapping this up now. Sorry? I'm going to start wrapping this up now. So um, okay. have you got any final words that you'd like to say? Or? Well, all I can say is anybody that can read the Apocalypse or Revelations, chapter 9 is about the Chinese army for the five months. And one third of mankind going to be killed. Chapter later 9. On. So you read chapter 9, chapter 13, and chapter 16. Alright, thanks a lot then. Cheers for that, it's appreciated. Right. What's your name? Uh, Richard. 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 So that, that, this is what's coming on the wall, that's why I'm out with this.